morning. I'm your host, Lance Roberts, with three minutes on markets and money, talking a little bit about what are the professional investors doing. About once a quarter, we take a look at the Commitment of Traders Report, which is what the speculators on Wall Street are actually doing with their money. Where are they investing their money? Where are they putting things? And we take a look at this report because it gives us a good idea about where extremes occur within various markets and how that potentially relates back to, well, what's important to us, the S&P 500. You know, so when we take a look at this right now, investors as a whole are as bullish as they can get. In fact, bullish sentiment is now at the same level as it was back in January of 2018, right after tax cuts. And of course, the last time that investors were this bullish, uh, that led to about a 20% correction in the market. Doesn't mean that's going to happen again, but when investors are all in on one side of the coin, generally something else occurs. Bob Farrell once quipped, when all experts agree, something else Else tends to happen when we take a look at our technical gauges as well just simply looking at price strip out sentiment strip out the other things just look at price our composite technical gauge is also all the way back to historically high levels again if you go back in history each one of these high points have pretty much led to a at least a short-term decline in the markets um, which suggests that we should to reduce some risk in portfolios vix positioning of course by professionals is now at a record low level in other words there are more people short the volatility index than at any other point in history and typically what this suggests is is that you're going to get a reversion in asset prices the volatility in the, in the index is going to pick up and that typically leads to a sell-off in the markets also taking a look at the u.s dollar investors have been betting on a decline here recently in the dollar but the dollar's going up why is the dollar going up well, that's because the United States is now really one of the strongest economies in the world. The rest of the world is really fighting with negative interest rates and slow growth. So foreign money is pouring into U.S. dollar denominated assets. This is keeping the dollar strong. This is giving support to the U.S. bond market. And it's also elevating stock prices as money is flowing into these U.S. dollar denominated assets. The problem here is, is that when you get a reversal of this, money becomes flowing out of the U.S. That could occur with stronger economic growth in nationally reverses the flow of funds that would lead to a fairly major correction in the stock market in fact previous reversals of this type of extension were back in 2007 and again back in 1999 so again this is a very important positioning point in terms of investors and lastly of course the fact that again investors are all in the boat smart money is uh, has been actually selling stocks and reducing exposure and what we call dumb money retail investors are now at some of the longest levels that we hit, typically see in this index so again, pay attention here because again, the markets have had a very, very strong advance. They've gone very far, very quickly since the introduction of QE. And these extensions will be reversed in the short term. Again, not talking about a major bear market, but just simply looking here for at least a 3 to 5% correction before we get to the end of the year. So pay attention to your money. You go by our website, realinvestmentadvice.com, get all of our latest show, our podcast, three minutes on markets and money. It's all there for you every single day, realinvestmentadvice.com. We'll see you next time on three minutes in markets and money. Money.